video we're going to be comparing the Border Collie and the Cocker Spaniel. Both of these wonderful breeds excel in their line of work and love to please their owners. So let's see how they compare head to head. Welcome back to the Fenrir Border Collie Show. If this is your first time here then my name's Rachel and I'm the co-founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly want to know about Border Collies, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Border Collie companions. So if you're a lifelong Border Collie lover, thinking about getting one or just starting your journey with your new Border Collie, then this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future Border Collie video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll take a deeper look at the main differences between these two breeds. Let's dig right into each breed's histories to get a better look at how our cherished modern canines were developed. The Border Collie descends of Landrace Collies but got their name Border Collie from where they were first bred, along the Anglo-Scottish border. Most, if not all, Border Collies can be traced back to Old Help. He was the original Border Collie, and these dogs have been long since used for herding. They rose in popularity due to their unique style of herding, which was much quieter and less aggressive than other herding dogs of the same day. They were even so popular that other countries such as New Zealand and Australia started to import them. Today these dogs are still regarded as the best herding breed and are kept as family companions. The Cocker Spaniel is thought to have originated in Spain because their name, Spaniel, could possibly be derived from their place of origin. Though some argue that the name could have come from a French phrase. But regardless of where these canines are from, we know for a fact that they are descendants of one of the oldest breeds around, the Spaniel. There are records of these dogs back as far as the 14th and 15th centuries, although many believe the Spaniel appeared in England far before that. Spaniels were originally bred to flush out game and drive them towards the hunter, but over time they started to be used as gun dogs instead. Cocker Spaniels weren't recognised as a breed until around 1885, due to the fact that Springer Spaniels could birth multiple types of Spaniel in a litter. Today these dogs are still popular as gun dogs, but also participate in shows. Moving on to appearance, and these breeds don't have much in common. The Border Collie is the larger of the two, standing at 46 to 58 centimetres tall and weighing 12 to 20 kilograms. While the Cocker Spaniel is considerably smaller, they stand between 38 to 41 centimetres and weigh between 13 and 14.5 kilograms. Their grooming needs are also nothing alike. The Border Collie only needs to be brushed once a week, whereas the Cocker Spaniel will need brushing multiple times a day to keep their fur from tangling and matting. Cocker Spaniels will also benefit from a quick brush after a walk as their long hair picks up debris and it's also recommended that they get professionally groomed every two to three months. Regular bathing may be part of grooming for either breed depending on how often they go out and what they get into. In either case it's important to make sure their ears are dried well as trap water can lead to ear infections. And you'll need to make sure that you don't bathe the Cocker Spaniel too often as it can change the balance of natural oils in their coat and cause allergies. This moves us into the trainability of each breed. Border Collies are considered the most intelligent breed on the planet. They're always ready and alert, and they want to please and pick up commands quickly. This makes them extremely trainable and a pleasure to be around as long as they have the right leader. They won't become stubborn out of boredom, but if they're uncertain who their calm, consistent leader is, they will do things for themselves and may become much more stubborn than normal. It isn't unusual for a Border Collie to teach themselves how to do things such as open doors and cupboards. This is in contrast to the Cocker Spaniel. This dog is also extremely smart but often lacks the stubborn streak found in other working dogs. They absolutely love to please and are always ready to learn new things. This makes for a highly trainable canine, but as always it's best to start training as early as possible to lay a good foundation for the dog and consistent training is the key to success. Even housebreaking a Cocker Spaniel is easier because this breed tends to hang on to every word and will learn very quickly where they're supposed to go. Both are wonderful family dogs that love to please their owners, but the Border Collie may not be the best for those with small children. Their herding instincts are so embedded that they may try to round up your children and are prone to nipping while doing so. They can also be rather aloof around other dogs, so socialisation that starts early is a must. 
This breed may even try to herd other pets to satisfy their primal need to herd and be in control. Though they're generally good with small animals such as cats if they were raised around them. Meanwhile, the Cocker Spaniel has earned itself a reputation as a wonderful family pet because they're so patient. Their patient nature makes them tolerant of children of any age, and this dog is also extremely social by nature. They normally get along well with other dogs and family pets such as cats, but it's still advised to supervise any pet introductions just in case. You wouldn't want it to become more stressful than it may already be. Both the Border Collie and Cocker Spaniel were bred as working dogs and have retained that energy even today. This means both breeds are active and will need a lot of physical and mental exercise to be happy. This shouldn't be an issue for already active people if they're looking to add them into their home. They both love to be with their people and are prone to separation anxiety if left alone for too long. So a committed leader is a must. In either case, people looking for a loving, active canine companion will find a happy match with one of them. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comments section below, and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure that you subscribe. We have three dedicated Border Collie videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again soon on the next episode of the Fenrir Border Collie Show.